come to my layout. So, the more observant of you monks, you would have noticed there aren't exactly any trains on it right now or any track. So that's because I'm going to bite the bullet today. I'm going to lay foam on the entire baseboard. The reason I'm doing that is you can see my baseboard is MDF. It's about two centimeters thick, which is just about thick enough to get these on. Uh, and that's one of the things I really want my layout is overhead lines. Because obviously I'm modeling the East Coast, the majority of the East Coast, not within Scotland, hi by the way, is electrified. Um, so the overall plan here is to lay foam, and that'll allow me a couple of things. That'll allow me to do sort of three-dimensional stuff, so I can cut into the foam and make, say, a pond. Or I can then put foam on top and make little mounds and, and sort of change the shape of the terrain that way. Um, that's the overall sort of current plan, is to get that laid today. Uh, I'm using blocks of EVA foam uh, with some instant adhesive recommended to me by Amazon. Um, I'll, I'll discuss the brands in a bit. But basically, I want to climb on my baseboard, climb to the back. Uh, I want to sort the, that wall out because that looks like it needs a bit of a, a wipe because it looks quite dusty. I think that's dust. Hopefully, it's not anything else. Um, that was it's always in quite a damp corner because that's sort of the corner of the house. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what we can do. Get some stuff laid. And without further ado, do let's ado do some foam laying. So that's the baseboard cleared. Um, I've got everything off it now. Like I said, I want to lay the foam. So without further ado, let's get the foam out. The product that we are using today is Multi Impact Evo Sick, which comes in a tin. And yep, yeah, goes my address. I think I'm going in through the bottom of the box, which is probably the best way to do this. This stuff. Bright Creations EVA foam. So, cutting out the up pack. This is what I'm laying. So it's centimetre thick, 10 mil. And it basically just allows and a layer between the baseboard and my, th my thing. I can make small indents into that. But I can also layer it too thick if I want, or more. And that's quite solid. So yeah, that's the plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay probably the back wall and I'll come back to you guys when that is done. So I've just opened the window just to get better ventilation in, just in case. I need a knife, great. Um, this should actually be fine. Nope, apparently not, apparently that's too thick. So I'm just trying to get the tin open. There you go, handy knife, one sec in the room. So plan is, the lid comes off. This is basically just resin by the looks of things. What I'm going to do, so because this isn't sort of madly, you know, heavy duty, I just need it to not move basically. We'll just do a quick X across the middle. And then a quick one like that. I've already got some of it on my hand, this is great. Right, this is my first time ever trying to apply this, which is why it looks so problematic. But, you know, it's the journey building model railway. You have an idea, it fails miserably, probably. And that will stay like that. Now, next one. I'm just gonna finger the middle on this one, I think, actually. far too much not enough but, but as I've got no experience of this I don't know what I'm doing I'd rather use too much than not enough there we go that's two down I'm sorry it's a speed run this I think get it done as quick as I can I'm just going to straighten that up in relation to the corner and then just think of the next basically I'm just I'll just do it on camera for your guys benefit um, please feel free to tell me in the comments how badly I'm doing this. I did it two months ago because I'm doing this on Christmas Day for you guys. It's probably February now. So, yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. 
This proves that I'm not just a modern railway review channel. There we go, and flip in place. Ooh. But now, quite, I do quite like this actually. Um, I think this is going to work really well for me. So, I'll just thing in the next one up. I may just have a go at that. And then do uh, that, and that, and just go. So I did read the instructions that said it may cause dizziness. So if I find myself becoming dizzy, I'll just put the lid on. I lay the trunk I'm working on, put the lid on, and, and take a break outside. Because that's why I've got the window open. You know, just be nice and safe in that regard. So it needs this area done here as well. <clears throat> So, and this doesn't look too big enough, but we'll see what we can do. So, and like that, perfect. There's a slight overhang there, but that'll actually probably work in my favour for wiring and stuff. So, we'll just Use our thing. That'll do me. Okay, so I'm just going to compress these two. There we go. Alrighty. It's time to just get the whole thing done like this. What I could probably do actually, as a way of speeding this process up, is. So I'm basically doing four across, as you can see. So I'll just quickly fly in. And so I end up doing all the way across at the back. Um, the plan, I think, is going to be that I can just go, keep the pour on the same side, and just go. That was really weird. Something crept across my hand. Um, okay, that's done. Put that lid on. I've got way too much down there. And then we're just going to go like this. may have got this a bit wrong, if I'm honest. But we'll see. Right, just slide that in, slide that together, slide that together. It's, what I don't like, it's starting to sort of thingy up. Um, let's just quickly rub hands. Yeah, I've got, well, it's basically feels like PVA glue stuck to my hands. Probably just resin, but you know. And then we'll do like that. What I think I'm going to do actually is reach over and get some books and lay the books on top of it. Um, this second last. I actually need some more foam anyway. Anyway, I'll come back when we've got it all laid. So we're nearly done. You can see I've got most of the baseboard done now. Just got that little bit left. So one of the things I noticed is as soon as I laid, I'm trying to find a chunk, as soon as I laid a piece, it would sort of flex up. So what I've done, so put boxes down. This track's just here because I was measuring something out, but the boxes and, and books are all just counterweights to stop it arcing up too much. You can see over there, hi me, it's arced up quite badly, but that's in a corner where it's not really going to be noticed. I'm just going to finish this little area off here and then let it sit for the rest of the evening and DCC fit some locos. I was thinking, uh, before we do the, the final boards here, what I'm going to do, put a secret message under my, under my uh, phone. There we go. YouTube was here. There we go.
There you go. Have a little kiss as well. Move from using the contact ad adhesive to just using PVA glue because whilst, don't get me wrong, it's important to have a good bond. You know, that is all we need. What I need is for that to solidify and not move about, which it won't. But also, using PVA, it's just an easier substance to work with. So I'm just going to finish this area off, and then we'll be back. I'm going to madly ruin back. It's time to lay the last piece. So you can see it on the entire layout so far. And then this is the area I've just done since when I sort of spoke. This is the sort of the, this area here. This these sort of two three rows are what's been done with PVA. To be honest, put a probably sort of should have stuck to PVA as long as it sticks. Then you know no issues there. But there you go. That's the last piece in place. So now I've just got it all solidify. My back is ruined, as Stuart would say. Foaming of the layout complete. I'm just laying some track out just to understand what I could actually create here. It'd be pretty cool, I hope. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video as much as I have. If you Subscribe to see more from me on a regular basis. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.